Hi and welcome to Candy Floss Crochet. Today I'm going to show you how to make this gorgeous basket weave stitch. Uh, this is one I made earlier as part of a sampler blanket of different stitches and uh, this one was made with uh, Starcraft Special DK in silver. Just wanted to take this moment to say if you enjoy watching my videos uh, please give me a thumbs up at the end of the video and also if you can click that subscribe button then every time I release a new video to my channel you'll get notification of it. So let's get cracking with this one. So this one was done as I said in star special style craft special DK um, but today I'm going to be using uh, Demora's Studio anti Bitling DK and this one is in citrine. Now the label says use a four millimeter hook but I'm going to use a five millimeter hook just so that you can see the stitches because we're going to be using a front and a back post technique um, and it's easier to see if it's on a slightly bigger one but whichever yarn you choose then check your label to see which size hook you need. Okay, so let's get cracking. Let me just move this one out of the way. So as I said, I have a five millimeter hook. You'll also need a darning needle um, to sew in any ends and your scissors to snip off the ends. Okay, let's get started. So with this pattern, you always work it in multiples of six. So if you want to go ahead, make your slip knot and you're gonna work up a chain now it depends on the size of the project that you're working on but I'm just going to work up 24. So to do a chain take your slip knot on your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Notice how I twist the hook just so it makes it easier to grab that yarn and pull it through. So go ahead, work up your chain to the desired length that you want it to be. But remember, it has to be in a multiple of six. Pause the video at this stage, work up your chain and join me when you've got to the number of chains that you require. And we'll start working on our first row. OK, so you now should have worked up your chains in multiples of six. So I've done 24. And because we've got um, a turning on both ends of this one, we need to add on an extra seven chains. So go ahead and work up another seven. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. And now you're going to do a UK treble into the fourth chain from your hook. So just to be clear, this isn't, you don't count this chain here. Your first chain is just here. Okay, so never count this one. So it's a fourth chain from the hook. So that's one, two, three, and I'm going in here. So to do UK treble, you yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two. And to the next stitch, yarn over, insert, Yarn over, pull through, three loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And again in the next one, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, three loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So work all the way along your chain doing a UK treble in each of the chains and then join me when you get to your end um, chain to work into the very last one and join me when you're at the end of your row and we will start working on our first row. Okay so you should now have worked up your row of UK trebles all the way along. Once you get to the end chain two and turn your work. Okay we're going to miss our first uh, treble here and we're going to work a front post treble around this post here okay so a front post treble is slightly different than a normal treble so your it's it's basically the same principle whereas normally you will be going into the top of your stitches and you'll be going in here on a front post treble just lost my hook you're actually going to work around the post itself so this bit here is called the post so yarn over as you normally would and take your hook in between the two posts behind it and background to the front, yarn over, pull through, three loops on your hook, exactly like a normal treble, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. I'll show you that one again. So yarn over, identify your next post, go behind your post, back out the front, yarn over, pull through, three loops, 
yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We do three of these, so I'm going to do another one with you. So yarn over, that's my next post. Taking my hook behind and back round to the front. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So I've done three front posts. Just to confuse you now, we're going to do three back posts. So exactly the same principle. You're going to take your hook behind to the front and back behind again. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that one's now worked at the back. Find your next post, yarn over, taking your hook from the back to the front, to the back again, yarn over, pull through, and finish your treble like you normally would. Do one more of those before we go back to the front pace. So back to front, back to back, and complete your treble. We're now gonna work a front pace again. So this is where you're going from front to back and back to the front again. And we're doing three of those. So just to be clear, that's my row there. And I'm working this one here. So I'm going behind, back in front, and completing my normal treble stitch. So I've done three front posts. I've now got to do three back posts. So yarn over, go behind your work, bringing the hook forward between the posts, back to the back, and then completing your treble. So your next post is there. Go from the back to the front, back to the back, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And you're going to do one more as a back paste. And you're going back to doing a front paste. So that's where you go from, from the front to the back to the front again. Three of those. So you're working in threes every time. Three front pastes followed by three back pastes. So another front paste. And your work should start looking like this. So you've got your three front pace here, followed by your three back pace, three front pace, three back pace, three front pace all the way along. So continue repeating that pattern repeat. So I've on my front pace, the next one's three back pace, three front pace, three back pace, and the last three. And then you'll have your turn and chain. So stop when you get to your last um, front pace at the turn and chain and rejoin me there. And we will go through how you turn your work and how you start your next row. So remember you're doing alternate front and back posts in groups of three. Okay, so you should now have worked all the way along. As you can see, we started off with our front pace, then we did our back pace, our front pace again, back and all the way along, finishing off with three front pace. And as you can see here, I've got my turn and chain at the very end. So at the very end now, you're just going to work a UK treble into the top of that turning chain. So that's your, your standard UK treble. And that finishes off that row. Chain two and turn. Now working on the reverse. And in this row, we're going to start off with missing the first treble. And we're going to start off with a back pace on this row. So this is now our... Um, second row after the chain row okay so back post yarn over and you're going missing this one here you're going this one here so not all the way down the bottom this one here so through the back to the front back to the back yarn over and pull through so like we did before you're doing three of these and another back post it's a bit difficult to see where you're going, but this is your next one here, look. So you're going through that one. And now you're going to do three front pace. And you're going to do these front pace around this pace here. So these pace here, look. And mine's a bit easier to see because I've used quite a, a big hook so that it's easier for you to see. But you might have to pull yours apart a bit to see it. So now we're doing a front pace. So we're going from the front, so towards the back. Picking up that post and completing our treble. I'm going to do three of those. Three of 
three of those front posts and then we're going to move to the back post again so these are already at the back so you're just picking up the back post that's one sometimes it it's difficult to keep the yarn on your hook and i tend to use my finger just to help keep it in place while i maneuver my hook behind that pace so three of those you can see it's starting to take shape now and we're going to do three front pace so around this pace here So I don't know whether you can see there, but these posts are just here, look. So this is the pace when you pull it out, you're looking at the pace. So that's your back pace there. And these here are your front pace. So we do three of those. Just get into that gap. So my yarn's caught, it's pulling. That's my next one. Sorry, there we go. It can be quite fiddly at times, but if you persevere, it gets easier the more you do it. So I'm onto my back pace now. Three back pace. My last back pace of this one. And you carry it all the way along, repeating your pattern as you go. So I've just done three back posts, three front, three back, three front, three back. And join me at the end. So pause the video at this point, work your pattern all the way along, remembering you're doing three of each alternatively, and then stop when you get to the end and rejoin me and I'll show you how to finish off this row. Okay, so you should have worked all the way along your work now and your pattern should look something along this lines and you should be left with your turning chain at the end after completing your last back paste. So like we did on the previous round, you're gonna do a UK treble into the top of that turning chain. Chain two, turn your work. And we're gonna start off with a back post again. So miss this first one and go straight into the next paste and work your three back pace. And you're gonna repeat this all the way along as we've done on all the previous rounds. So three back pace. So this round starts with a back pace and then you're going on to three front pace. That's my first one. My next front pace, that's the second one. That's my third front pace. And then we're going back to the back pace. So you take the hook behind and you're working it. And I sort of twist my work up a bit so I can see the hook coming through. Whereas when you're doing the front pace, you don't need to do that. That's my three back pace, three front pace. That's one. two and three and then my next one will be three back pace so yes again work all the way along as you can see our pattern is starting to weave and appear as though it's a basket weave so work all the way along repeating the pattern of three back pace three front three back three front all the way along until you get to the end when you get to the end you can work your um one uk treble into your turning chain at the end and then chain two and turn, and then we'll start on the next row. Okay, so you should have worked all the way along now, and you should have your alternate rows of three front and back pace. Change your, you've done your uh, UK treble into the turn and chain, chain two, turn your work. And this time, as before, we're not gonna go into that first one, but we're gonna go into the next one. But this time we're gonna start with a front paste. And again, it's three front paste, three back posts all the way along. So if you want to carry on with that, so you do your front pace, three front pace, and then three back pace. I 
that's my second one. This is my third one. And I'm back into the front pace again. Three of those before going into my back pace. So again, work all the way along, alternating your front and your back pace as you work along. And then join me at the end and I'll, I'll talk in more detail about the pattern repeat. Okay, so you should now have finished your row. Um, and this is where you can basically start pattern repeating all the way through. So I'm just going to recap for you. So you might want to get a pen and paper and just write it down. It might be a little bit simpler to remember if you just write down the pattern repeat. Otherwise, it can get quite confusing. So to start off with, you did your chain in multiples of six. And then you added an extra seven and just worked your chain as normal. Then you did one treble in the fourth chain from the hook and then worked a... UK treble all the way back along. On the next row, which was row two, you started off with a front pace. And as with every round, we don't count the first one, we go into the next one. Okay, so you start off with three front pace and then three back pace. On the next row, you start off with the back pace and then the front pace. And again, on the next row, back pace, front pace. Then you go back to front pace to back pace. Um, and you carry on that way. So the easiest way to remember is once you've done your first one, you always start your first post row with a front post. Then you do two back rows, two back post rows, and then you do another front post. So you're literally working it in pairs as you go along. So front post, back post, back post, front post. So I hope that makes it clear. What I will do is write a very quick pattern in the description box below so that you can refer to it so you don't have to keep watching the video. So once you've got the stitch nailed, you can just have that up on the screen so you can see exactly what you're doing with the pattern repeat. But that's essentially it. That's the basket weave stitch. Um, that's the front of it. And on the back of it, it looks very similar. And as it grows up, the pattern just deepens. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. As I said at the beginning, if you'd like to leave me a comment below, that'd be great. Um, and if you get round to it, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.